Prince Harry, repentant. This phone call to Elizabeth II, who saves his honor despite his withdrawal from the crown, Prince Harry made a point of contacting his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, a few days before his historic speech to the nation. Caring attention that saves the honor of the Duke of Sussex, whose image has been seriously tarnished since the Maxit. For a phone call, Prince Harry managed to put aside frustrations and resentments. While Queen Elizabeth II gave a poignant speech on Sunday, April the 5th, to the British who are confined to their homes because of the exceptional health crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic, Prince Harry made a point of calling his grandmother to say a few words before this historic moment. He wanted to give her his full support, said a source at Harper's Bazaar, a step towards a sovereign who somewhat redoors the image of the Duke of Sussex seriously damaged after the Mexican could it be this benevolent attention which encouraged Elizabeth II to slip a subtle note to the Sussex spouses during her speech, posted in front of the television at their Los Angeles home to follow live the speech of hope and resilience of the Queen, who spoke to the nation for the first time only in the 68 years of reign, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were particularly moved by the words of the heir to the throne. They described the speech as a demonstration of experience and leadership, but also warmth, calm and comfort, said the source. A clean break with the crown since the official departure from the monarchy, relations between the Sussex spouses and the rest of the members of the crown have been far from perfect. Anxious to maintain good relations with her grandson, Queen Elizabeth II, who repeatedly tried to bridge the gap between Prince William and Harry, with that much success, met with the open heart with the Duke of Sussex a few weeks ago. If she has forbidden them to use the Sussex royal brand, the sovereign nevertheless wishes to keep in touch with the Sussexes, who for their part seem determined to turn a page in their lives, of which they have particularly bitter memory. The war is timing, Meghan Markle and Harry still strangled for their self-centeredness. The details of the new foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not greeted with applause for British observers. Meghan Markle and Harry were self-centered in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis. Meghan Markle and Harry are still under fire from the critics. This time, it was a revelation of the details of the new foundation that didn't please the public. The Sussexes took the administrative steps to launch Archival, the new foundation in the United States where they now live and they give some details to the British newspaper the Daily Telegraph at the same time Prime Minister Boris Johnson was transferred to the intensive care unit British observers say the couple have been selfish and Meghan Markle and Harry's announcements have come at the worst time as the world battle against the COVID-19 pandemic for the royal biographer Phil Dampier the timing is appalling in the Daily Mail, he adds, it was the worst possible time. If I were Harry and Meghan, I would have gone to bed until this situation was over. Same story with Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal commentator. For him, Harry and Meghan have developed substantial proposals for Archival, a non-profit organization which will in fact be their own charity. Meghan Markle and Harry forced to confirm. It was in the newspaper Daily Telegraph that the details of this non-profit foundation were delivered. Revelations that the couple had not planned to make so soon. They had notably closed their Instagram account to devote themselves to the fight against the coronavirus. It was in the press that they learned that the documents of the new foundations were made public and they said they were forced to confirm the news. In a statement, the Duke and Duchess said, like you, our goal is to support efforts to fight the global pandemic of COVID-19, but in light of this information which has come to light, we have been felt compelled to share this.